when you're in your 20s and suddenly you're responsible for your own financial well-being, it feels so huge. I remember when my dad said, okay, now you've graduated from college, you're on your own. No more checks coming from home, girl. <laughs> so I have some thoughts for you about money um, that I want to share. Financial markets go up and they go down and they go up a little and they go down a lot and they come up a lot. They're always moving. And it always feels like wherever we are, it's going to be that way forever. If the market's up, you think, oh, markets, uh, if you're in your 20s, market's been up as long as I can remember. So it's going to keep on doing that. And when suddenly it goes down, it feels really scary, but it doesn't have to be. If you assume, if you plan for up markets and down markets and you know it's going to happen, it'll be like storms. You know, okay, I have to, I have to, depending on where I live, I have to close the storm hatches. I have to bring in the cat. You, you've already made your plans. If you know that you live in a place that could be flooded, you have your list for evacuating. Got to put the dog in the carrier. Got to have my meds ready. You know, like you've got your emergency list. The most important thing, particularly in an up market, is pay yourself first. Pay yourself first. What does that mean? Savings is paying yourself. And what I do is I just lie to myself. I have the money taken out. Of whatever money I have coming in, it goes into an account that I've asked um, be hidden from me. I have to go look and see what the balance is. It's just out of sight, out of mind. And that has turned out, obviously we're older, that turned out to be a good habit and leave it there. Don't get scared. If you get scared during a down market and suddenly you try to get in and out, that's called timing the market. People try to time the market. Dumb. Uh, there's just no other way to say it. There are some people who can time the market. They're on Wall Street. And you know what? They're making mistakes with other people's money. They're timing the market with your money, not with their money. No, no, not for you. Have some money that you save. Don't touch it. In a down market, what you want to do is make sure you don't spend and here's my um, favorite not spending tip. Sometimes at night, I like to, I have all of my uh, incoming mail for buying things go to an email address that I don't see. Uh, everything that I might want to buy goes to one email address. So I look at it at night if I'm in the mood to shop. And I go and I shop. I put things in the cart. I put all kinds of stuff in the cart and then I leave. Sometimes I leave it in the cart and if I can't stop thinking about it, then I get serious. The way that I can get in trouble financially, anyone can, is if you go unconscious about spending. I have had spending blackouts in my younger days. I remember once I went to a store, they were having a shoe sale and I spent a year's worth of shoe budget in one store. I bought six pairs of shoes and, uh, they hurt. They hurt. And I had to wear them because that was my budget for the year. And my feet would bleed and everything would ache. And I thought, okay, that is my last shoe blackout. That is the last time I'm going to do that. So um, I'm hoping that everyone has a budget and knows how much they can spend every month. And then I'm working against my number. I know what I can spend every month on retail therapy.